Big breath in. Hold and release. Fill your world with peace. <laughs> Breathe in. Hold. Hold. And release. Ha! Ah. Ha! Ah. Thanks. Sorry about the tree. Do I know you? My daughter plays the clarinet. Not anymore. I switched to tuba. Why do you hate me? Mom, tuba's cool. But I thought you loved the clarinet. It's so pretty and quiet. I outgrew that. Hi, Mom. Hey, buddy. Ooh. Hey, Kira. I know we live in Texas, but that necklace is a little over the top. Good one, Dad. Wow! You want to look inside? Yeah! Don't you dare! Mom, something terrible's happened. Oh, my gosh, are you okay? No, it's not me. I'm fine. It's Van. I flunked my history midterm. Now I can't play football. Oh, oh thank my God. God. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. I blew it. I'm sorry. Now we're going to lose the game on Friday, all because of me. Isn't it enough that he is a football star? Do they expect the boy to be a brain surgeon, too? I'll take care of it. I'll talk to the teacher. I'll get him to give you a makeup test. Oh, thanks, Dad. What's the use? I flunked once. I'll flunk again. Failure is not an option. Now, look, if you don't play, we lose the game. No playoffs, no championship, no big shiny trophy in my dental office. <laughs> We're all counting on you, son. Hey, Coach, ease up. Van, look at you. You're a mess. Here. Take your husband upstairs and try to get him to relax. Uh, thanks, Mrs. H., but I can't even think about sex right now. <laughs> Now, Van, focus. All right. Who fought in the War of 1812? Soldiers. <laughs> Which soldiers? I'm supposed to know their names? Van, what countries? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I have no idea. Come on, keep your head in the game, son. All right, look, look. Let's start with an easy one. We'll build up your confidence. In what year was the War of 1812 fought? Van, come on, you know this one. Yeah, but it feels like a trick question. No, it's not a trick question. It's 1812. 1812, the War of 1812. Hey, stop yelling at me. How's it going? We're in trouble. No, 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 we're good. We're making real progress, right, Van? Please, no more questions. Okay, I think it's time for a new approach. You two, out of here. I'm taking over. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. H., but it's hopeless. No, it's not hopeless. Let's just figure out where your weaknesses are and start there. Do you have a copy of the test you took? Okay. All righty, I see the trouble started early. <laughs> you spell van wrong. Shoot! I knew that one. Honey, you need to learn how to relax. Take a deep breath and do this. <sighs> there you go. Now, let's start with the first one you missed. Number one. <laughs> Who is John Brown? Well, some abolitionist. He tried to arm the slaves before the Civil War. Right. 
but for who's John Brown, you said C, the godfather of soul. <laughs> stupid, stupid. Easy. Stay calm. Let's try another one. Which president made the Louisiana Purchase? Thomas Jefferson. Right again. You've been holding out on me. Man, it's obvious you know this stuff. What happened? Well, I looked at the questions and I started thinking. If I flunk, I can't play. I won't get into college or get drafted in the NFL. I'll have to get a regular job. Then Cheyenne will think I'm a loser and my baby will have to wear cheap diapers. I never thought I'd say this, man, but you've been thinking too much. I'll get it. It's just my band friend. We're going to practice. Okay, honey, but band needs to study. Can you take your friend up to your room? Really? Yeah. Hey, Kira. Hi, Brian. Hello. <laughs> You're a Brian. Mom. I'm Mrs. Hart. Nice to meet you, Brian. <laughs> Hi. So, you're a tuba player. And now you're a tuba player. <laughs> yes, Mom. Well, this has been nice. Come on, Brian, let's go up to my bedroom. Bedroom? Hold up, hold up. Change of plans. Kira, you and Brian can practice down here, and Van and I will go into the kitchen. What's the matter? Don't you trust Brian with me? No. <laughs> awesome. You ready, son? I hope so. Hope? That's not a winning attitude. That's a hoping attitude. Hope. Remember, we want him to stay relaxed. Right, right, right. We're calm. Feeling no pressure. Ready to kick that test. A double S. <laughs> drive you two to school. Bring your plates over. Thanks, Mrs. H. For everything. Just remember, you know this stuff. And to get you started out on the right foot, it's V-A-N. <laughs> Mr. Devaney, I just want to let you know the entire football team appreciates you giving Van this makeup test. Why's that? Is he in the band? <laughs> no, he's our best player. Don't you go to games? I'm afraid I don't care much for ball sports. <laughs> but I do enjoy a good Civil War reenactment. You ever done that? Well, one Halloween I dressed up as Mary Todd Lincoln. Does that count? <laughs> Just relax. Don't be nervous. Nothing to worry about. Whole school's behind you. You're the man. Okay. I'm the man. <laughs> You're the man, man! <laughs> B A N. <laughs> now we're cooking. Somebody's been. Busy. Looks like you missed a spot. <laughs> I was trying to make Brian your famous chocolate chip cookies, but I couldn't find the rest. Oh. Here you go. You said you made them from scratch. So will you when Brian ask. Speaking of Brian, he's a little haughty, isn't he? Mom, nobody says haughty anymore. We're just friends. We share a love of the tuba. Oh, are we talking about the haughty tuba player? <laughs> Would you two get a life? Hey, Van back yet? He should be home soon. He's waiting for the teacher to grade his test. What happened here? Kira's in love. I am not. I'm baking cookies for a boy. Well, I'm not sure I like that. Do we approve of this? As long as she wears oven mitts, I don't see the harm. <laughs> So who is this young man? Nobody, just a boy from band. Oh, a band kid. That's fine. Hey! Hey, honey. How'd it go? 
I got my A double S kicked. <laughs> Too bad it wasn't a spelling test. Wanna go to a movie? No. You wanna fool around? No. You wanna eat a pizza? No. Mom! Be honest. Would you have married me if I weren't a big football stud? Honey, I'm pregnant. I had to marry you. <laughs> Feel better? You mommed? He's turning down food. I give up. Flunking a test is always hard on a marriage. I blew it. Man, you flunked a test. So you sit out again, try it again. It's not the end of the world. Maybe it'll do you good to take a week off. And do what? Hey, you're a smart kid. Football is just one option. Not like it's your life. Yes, it is. That was decided back when I was a 140-pound third grader. <laughs> Nonsense. No one's life is decided in the third grade. It's not like you're an Olsen twin. <laughs> There's got to be something that you like to do in your spare time. I don't have spare time during football season. Well, what do you like to do in your spare time after football season? Get ready for next season. <laughs> High school is a time to try new things. There's got to be something else that interests you. Well, there is just one thing I always sort of wanted to be. But I don't know if I'd be good at it. Oh, come on. You can do anything you set your mind to. You really think so? I really do. So what is it you'd like to be? A celebrity. <laughs> A celebrity? Well, you don't have to decide today. <laughs> Hey, check this out. Wow. Yeah. That's my loudest note. You want another cookie? Sure. These are great. Hey, guys. Wow, Kira. You look beautiful in that tuba. <laughs> Doesn't she, Brian? Are you spying on Kira? Only when the music stops. <laughs> Mom, they're wearing tubas. If they kiss, we'll hear it. <laughs> hey, I took your advice, Mrs. H. I'm not gonna let football rule my life. I'm gonna be in the school play. A play? Yeah, I figure it's a step towards celebrity. And they need another Frontier Scout for the Alamo experience. I get to wear a hat. <laughs> That's great, Van. You're gonna be in a... A play? Hey, good news. I pulled a few strings and Mr. Devaney has agreed to give you another shot at that test. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Van was going to be in a play. Ooh. Another test? No, no, no. Same test. That way you don't have to learn anything new. You take the test tomorrow morning, you're back in the game Friday night. Coach, I'm in a play Friday night. I mean, I'm scout number four. The other scouts are counting on me. So are the Wildcats. Okay, maybe I can be in the game next week, but the play only runs this weekend. Although, for good, we might get to do it for the Kiwanis. He's really excited about the play. He's more excited about playing football again, right, buddy? Well, I made a commitment. I mean, they already measured my head for the hat. Man, the fellas in the drama guild must have another little friend. Now, look. You're not just any high school athlete. You actually have a shot of getting to the pros. I'd hate to see you blow that. You're right, Coach. I don't want to let you down. All right. 
You should be ashamed of yourself. He was trying to tell you something and you weren't even listening. Oh, come on. He's not quitting football just because he's feeling a little stress. It's more than just a little stress. He's put so much pressure on himself, he can't even spell his own name. And it's an easy name. <laughs> Look, pressure's part of the game. He's got to learn to deal with it. Now, remember, I was a pretty good high school player myself. You were also a pretty good student. That's why you're a dentist. Look, he's got to get an education. There's no guarantee he'll ever get into the NFL. Life doesn't always work out the way you thought it would. I always thought I'd be a singer. <laughs> but this kid is special. I didn't have a tenth of the talent he has. Maybe that's why you had so much fun playing football. Because no one expected great things from you. <laughs> He's 17. He's carrying the weight of a school, a wife, and a baby on his back. It might be time for you to climb down. A, B, B, D, C. How am I supposed to remember this? Well, use a memory trick. Make a, a, a sentence out of words that start with those letters. A, B. Bad, bad dog craps a bad crap at dog birds. Good. Yeah. So, uh, that play you're gonna do, do you have any lines? Just one, but it's a big one. We'd like to hear it. Really? Sure. Well, okay, but I need a moment. Be nice. I'm nice. Captain Martin! Captain Martin! Santa and his regiment was spotted off the west wall. Is that it? Well, I'm supposed to be wearing a hat, too. Oh, sure. Well, with a hat. Yeah. I felt like I was there. Listen. If you told him you were going to do the play... Well, that's what you should do. You sure, Coach? What about football? I'm more interested in what you want to do. Look, when you're ready, football will be there. Thanks. Hey, be honest. Do you think I should do my line louder or maybe with an accent? Definitely not louder. <laughs> Last cookie. Do you want it? Uh, yeah, thanks. You're pretty cool. Thanks. You're cool, too. When you played the clarinet, you used to sit next to Melissa Burke, right? Yeah, what about her? Well, I was wondering, uh, would you be able to find out if she likes me? Sure. I'll ask her. Don't ask me if I have any eights. Why, you have any eights? Shoo! <laughs> Don't ask me if I have any kings. Do you have any kings? Go fish. <laughs> oh, this is way better than Game Boy. I hate the tuba. Uh-oh. Hey, Kira, wait. Hey, Jake, there's fresh cookies in the kitchen. You want me to leave, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Want to talk about it? What's to talk about? He likes stupid Melissa Burke. Oh, honey. These things happen, Kira. Boys can be really stupid. There are tons of guys out there. It wasn't until my third boyfriend that I found someone to marry. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't be getting advice from your older sister. Way ahead of you, Mom. Honey, you don't have to change yourself to make a boy like you. Yeah, and no matter what they say, the stereo does not sound better in the back seat. Cheyenne, we have to do a lot of work before you become a mother. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, man, thanks to you, I will always remember the Alamo. The Alamo. <laughs> the Alamo. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty good, except for that one part. Hey, soldier's trip. I bought it. <laughs> hey, in the spring, I'm trying out for the musical. <laughs> oh, boy. A musical. <laughs> hey. Hey, hi there. Oh, man, the game. How bad was it? Well, I'm not sure you want to know. We won. Oh, that's great. So they don't really need me? I hope you're happy now. The kid's crushed. This is sweet! <laughs> if he's crushed, his acting certainly has improved. They won without me. Yeah, 28-20. I, I never would have believed it if I hadn't seen it. I mean, the other guys really stepped up their game. Wow. Do you know what a relief it is to know that they can win without me? It makes me want to play again. It does? Oh, baby. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on, let's go upstairs and study for the test. Okay, but if you get all the answers right, then maybe we can... Oh, you know. <laughs> They're going to be exhausted after finals. <laughs>